bless the lord oh my soul and all that's within me blesses his holy name god bless you family and friends welcome to another wednesday wisdom today i want to share with you about knowing god's love god wants us to know his love and that is beyond inception beyond the starting point where we accepted the lord jesus beyond knowing that god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life he wants us to know him beyond that point it there must be a progression and it takes place in personal experience or through personal experience with him this is how you come to know the love of god you come to realize the love of god you um you gain intimate knowledge of the love of god you get to recognize the love of god you get to uh, realize the love of god you get to understand the love that god has for you and from that from from that it is you know that experience it's progress it moves from the starting point inception to progress which then moves to which then moves to um attainment which is where we need to get to because there's a, a depth and height and width and length of his love that he wants us to be able to understand in order that we can we can be filled with the fullness of god that we can be effective tools in his hands amen and so being filled with the fullness of god causes us to experience not just in one aspect but in um, every aspect you know of who he is all his blessings all his resources all of his um, wisdom we get to experience that we get to operate in that and and so um um in 2018 the lord said to me um i want you to be filled with the fullness of god and that is in my love it is in my love and at that point i didn't i didn't really understand the depths of what he was talking about but um he said that the church has not the church in general has not um, um, experience the fullness of who he is okay just a certain percentage but um they have not experienced the fullness of who he is and he said that um he wants me to experience it so that i can take it where he is sending me or to those that he will send me to and so um today i felt that the lord was wanting me to share this he wants you to know his love come to know his love move from the starting point of knowing that christ died yes he died yes god loved you loved you that's why he sent his son but it moves on from there it is supposed to progress like i was saying and it's supposed to move to attainment where you get to that goal that um, the lord wants you to get to right and knowing that love um you know it's it's um realizing god's love recognizing god's love it is um you know getting to know his love intimately you know um it is getting to understand his love you know for you and to know that it surpasses 
surpasses and that surpasses or passes means to throw beyond the usual mark so it goes beyond it goes beyond so it goes beyond that starting point there's a progress of his love okay and there's an attainment of his love and it will still surpass that we will leave this earth still not knowing all you know or understanding all of God's love for us how much he loves us the true extent of his love but we need to get to that where he wants us to get so that we can be filled with the fullness of God amen and so um, it surpasses that's that um, to know it surpasses the it surpasses knowledge general knowledge it surpasses knowledge that is perfect and even goes beyond that you know um, beyond that knowledge that is perfect there is still it still um, it still goes beyond that you know so um, there's no like I said there's no you know coming to that place of truly 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 saying you understand all of it but we need to get to that um, to his desired goal for us that we can operate from that fullness so um, getting to that point will assure us or give us that confidence when we are walking through stuff you know that he loves us that will help us take it beyond um, it will help us realize that he loves us beyond just dying for us it, it doesn't it doesn't end at that point you know his love continues you know his love continues so we need to continue to grow um, in that knowledge in that depth of the knowledge of the love of God amen and so um, the scripture that this is taken from is Ephesians Ephesians um, 3 verses 17 to 19 I'm going to read it it is it says that that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height to know the love of God which surpasses knowledge that you may be filled with the fullness of God amen so it is it comes through personal experience okay that knowing to know it happens through personal experience so it moves and progresses and gets to um, that uh, that attainment that God requires of us to get to so um, today I pray that the Lord will continue to reveal to you he will shift you from that inception the starting point to where you accepted Christ and just that knowledge of his love where he will um, cause you to progress in the knowledge of his love and um, you will move to attainment where you get to where he wants you to get that and you can be filled with the fullness of God and this is beneficial to you it's going to help you to be able to rely on the love of God you know um, you'll be confident in the love of God because look he the Bible says that scarcely it is it is um, it is scarce it's it's not an easy thing that a man will lay down his life for 
for a righteous man you know so um but we know that he laid down his life you can be assured of that love in that love is assurance in that love you can depend upon that love um that love does not forsake you know people love you to a certain extent right and if something is done that they they figure you didn't do it their way or it was displeasing to them they can quickly or easily you know um turn a blind eye on you or cast you aside you know but not 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 god not god not god not god you can rely on the love of god and today i just want to encourage you to continue to to ask the holy spirit to help you to know the love of god because the love of god has been poured out in our hearts you know by the holy spirit so the holy spirit is able to reveal to us that we can be able to um, be assured of the love of god we can be able to um, understand the love of god we can be able to recognize the love of god we can be able to realize the love of god we can be able to come to know intimately the love of god with the help of the holy spirit aside from the holy spirit it is not possible we cannot we cannot get to know the love of god like he wants us he's requiring of us to get to know him so that we can be filled with his fullness we can't if we don't have the help of the holy spirit so seek the help of the holy spirit to come to know the love of god that you may be filled with the fullness of god amen so god bless you and um, continue to love the lord jesus christ because in knowing his love it will help you to submit to the love of god as you move from you know just that starting point you are going to find yourself submitting to the will of god you're going to find it easier to do the things that he's requiring of you you're going to find it um, easier to obey him you're going to find that you are hating every evil way you are hating um, every wicked way because you love the lord and this is what psalm 97 10 says those who love the lord they hate every evil way amen so in order for you to set your love on him you need to know how much he loves you and the more you know how much he loves you is the more you become so confident in who you are in christ that you will now want to seek to please him you will turn from being a people pleaser uh, to being a god pleaser you will turn from being um concerned about what people think about you to now just you know you don't even care what people think as long as god is being glorified by your life you are able to um talk about all what he has done in your life all what he's doing or what he's delivered you from the bad things you know uh, you are able to talk about it because you you just love you you just know you are so secure in his love right that you just want to talk up you just want to talk about his goodness in your life and put the devil to shame and you don't care about how it's going to look in return because you know that you are secured in his love you are found you are found securely in his love wow securely in his love thank you holy spirit securely in your love thank you holy spirit thank you lord that we are secure in your love thank you lord god lord i release that word to someone listening today that needs to hear that you are secure 
in the love of God. You are secure in the love of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are secure in the love of Jesus Christ. You are secure in the love of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. And so, um, God bless you and continue loving Jesus. Bye-bye.